Hi guys, today I am coming at you. That's that's a weird way to intro something. I'm doing a favorites July favorites video. And I've never done a favorites video, I don't think. So this is new to me as well, so forgive me if I do something like really weirdly wrong. I have everything written down on like a, a post-it <laughs> because I'm using my phone to record my audio. And it's <laughs> It's it's just so funny because it's so small. Anyway, okay. So I'm going to start with beauty, first of all. Um, you can probably guess what my number one beauty thing is. This mess up here. Um, I have really been enjoying the green hair. Uh, people stare at you, which isn't always nice. And I made a long Instagram post about that. But you don't need to read it because I was just being annoyed. Um, yeah, it's... It's a little bit dry, but I, I'm, I've really been loving it. It's, I feel good about myself for having it. The dye I've been using is Crazy Color, because there's not many options where I live to get different ones, unless I order online, which, pff, no, I'm not doing that. I have no idea if that's focused, but the color I have in my hair right now is lime green. And I have another two bottles of this, well no, I have two bottles of this, including this one. So that if I want to top it up again sometime soon, then I can, which I probably will. I, I just can't stop touching it. I love it. Keeping in vain with the green, I got a green colour corrector for, you know, your makeup, uh, put it over red stuff. It's nice and uh, pigmented. I don't really know what I'm saying right now, so just bear with me. <laughs> I've been using it quite a bit because I've been coming up quite red in places on my face so it just makes my life a little bit easier. Next on the list is brown brown gel eyeliner. I, I'm not a fan of gel. I've I always just find it kind of awkward and weird and it's not as crisp as I would like it to be but 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 I have been really enjoying this brown eyeliner. It's softer than black. It's This formula is quite soft and easily blended so I've been using it as like a softer high, softer 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 wing with like maybe more neutral looks. Um, I'm not wearing it today which is a shame. I should have thought ahead but I didn't so here we are. And I've been using it a lot on my waterline because it's less harsh than less, less, less harsh than the black. I think most of this favorites video is going to be beauty because most of the physical things I'm holding are beauty products. I have some other things but not a lot. I've started using mascara again. This this one is Batman which really fucking cool but it's still a very decent mascara. I stopped using mascara for a really long time and then I was like and then I found like my old ones but they were kind of dried out and I didn't realize I was like Pfft. Why does anyone like mascara? Because it's not like the the shitty one you have. So I bought a new one and I've been enjoying it. It's still a bitch to take off, but I look good, so I'll deal with it. Um, my cellar water. I've been using it to take off my makeup. It's it's so nice, and it, I, like I clean my face with it as well, so it leaves me feeling very fresh and refreshed and. I just said fresh in two different ways twice, so we'll, I think we'll move on from there. Now another thing, another beauty thing that I've been doing again, which I stopped doing for the longest time and I never really enjoyed doing it in the first place, is painting my nails. And I talked at length on Twitter a while ago about why painting my nails is kind of weird or difficult or whatever, and it's, it's related into gender issues that I'm not going to get into because it's harder to articulate them out loud than on Twitter. So I've been painting my nails and I've been enjoying that. I'm using a bright pink. I'm not sure how it looks on camera, but it's very bright neon pink. It might turn out to look kind of salmon-y, but I'm not sure, but it's very bright. My next section is entertainment. So I can't actually hold anything out in front of you. So I'm just gonna talk and tell you what I'm talking about because I don't have any physical manifestation of a thing to throw at you. Okay, that was needlessly long. 
I started and finished watching Shadowhunters, the TV show. And I enjoyed it. Apparently the show is shit compared to the books, but I'm 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 enjoy I enjoyed it. I like the characters. I started the first book, which uh, fun fact I've had a copy of since nearly a year ago because Aaron forced it on me before I went to Prague and then I never read it and never gave it back to him. So now I'm reading it. <laughs> and I'm only like ten pages into it, but I'm enjoying it. So that's good. And Shadowhunters is the show is fairly decent so far. It stands up quite well. I enjoy the characters. Simon Lewis is my ultimate fave. I just enjoy him very much so and I wanna like hug him. I never thought I'd be so caring and loving towards a vampire since Twilight and I feel like this is a step forward first of all, but yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's it's good. I I think I've said the word enjoy like four or five times now, so next <laughs> you're gonna look at me weird for saying this, but I've been watching Scooby Doo and this like Scooby Doo in Mystery Incorporated I think is the official title. It's the one that came out around two thousand ten. Um and I would have watched it as a kid but I never finished it or I never watched anything in order the way I would now. And I started to and I'm on like halfway through season one and I just it makes me feel really warm it makes me feel really happy to just sit and watch Scooby-Doo like the nostalgia is real <laughs> I just oh it's just so nice to go back to I'm enjoying it it's it's nice to have something that's not as overly complicated as like Doctor Who or something like that that was like pinnacle of my childhood but has kind of changed it hasn't changed. It's still so, like, predictable, but it's nice. Next, I went to see the new Ghostbusters movie. And I know a lot of people had different problems with it, and bloody bloody blah, and blah blah blah. But I enjoyed it. I sat in the cinema, and I laughed out loud, and I quoted the movie at the person I went to see it with for hours afterwards. And, yeah, the car Pinnacle characters didn't have much of a character arc, and maybe there were some little bits and bobs that... I just felt were unnecessary or should have been done differently that I'm not going to get into because I don't want to write a review. But as a whole movie, I really enjoyed it. It was fun, it was fresh, it was modern, it was new, but it still harkened back to these old things and had all these cameos and just homages to the original, which I felt I liked. I know some people didn't like them, but I liked it. <laughs> now this next one. It's going to surprise some people because I'm not a gamer. I don't play games in my regular life. I'm not a huge person for games. But I have really been loving this game called Inside. Both Jack Jacksepticeye and Markiplier have played it through. And I just loved it. The, the aesthetics, the, the visuals are beautiful. The noise is amazing. The, the sounds in the game are so immersive and amazing and just lend itself so wholly into the experience. The story, while being somewhat confusing, if you're looking at it and you're like, what the fuck's happening, is amazing in how that it's been told without any dialogue. It's so good. I love it. Ah, oh, and like, like I said, I'm not a game person and I probably won't play it, but watching it was so amazing. And I do have to do a quick nod to Jack the Guy and Mark Blyer because I, I I just really enjoy their commentary over those games, so there's that as well. Um, I'm doing a lot of things with my hands, but I'm not sure that you can see them because it might be out of frame. And I think it is, but if you see my shoulders like twitching, it's because my hands like I just I just talked all the way through the the game like this but you can't see it in the cam so that's what that's happened another game i've been playing a lot of on my phone is risk now risk is a board game that a friend of mine introduced me to and i've never played the board game but he was telling me about it and then he was like why don't we get the app so we can play against each other online and sure and i've been playing it a lot it's a strategy game you're trying to take over lands your the objective is to have as much land as possible and 
to eliminate the other people in the game and it's just a lot of fun because it's kind of mind numbing and, and repetitive in the way that you do things and it's uh, it's just such a nice distraction and now uh, this is my last what is it yeah this is my last thing and it's also is it actually is physical but I'm gonna talk a little bit before I tell you what it is so in 2013 or maybe 2014 I had a wreck this journal and I wrecked it and then I lost it I'm, I'm sure I still have it somewhere but I don't know where I have a feeling I know where it is but I'm not going looking for it at this point because there's stuff in it I don't want to remember so while I was out the other day or a while ago now um, I got a wreck this journal and I did this to it like, this is the front cover and I haven't done a hell of a lot inside because I, I wanted to take it slow do bits and bobs and yeah there's a lot of glitter I'm like touching it and there's glitter coming off my hands I think a lot of people especially me included have a thing about destroying books like I don't like ripping up books I don't like breaking them apart making them anyway less than what they were before but there's something nice about being able to do that when you're allowed to do it like this is specifically made to be able to do this and I love books so much. I care about my books a hell of a lot. But it's nice. I've said the word nice so many times. A thing that you've kind of taught yourself how to be. And go against it. And destroy something. And I've been enjoying it. I've, I've said the word enjoy. I've said the word nice. I've said the word fun so many times in this video. But I don't care because I'm, I'm genuinely glad I got a new reckless journal. Because... It's, I'm, I'm lost for it. I just like them. They're fun. They're quirky. I've never seen a book. Before I heard a reckless journal, there had never been a book that I had heard that was anyway similar. That last bit got really rambly and long, just like the rest of this video. So I'm going to wrap it up. I hope you all have a wonderful day, a uh, wonderful night, wonderful morning. Time zones are weird. What are your favourites for July or ever? Um, let's talk about it, because talking is fun. Yay. I don't know what the fuck this video was. So I will see you tomorrow. Happy Vita, everyone. And if you're doing Vita, then tell me. Because I would very much love to know about it. Tell me about your Vita. How's your Vita going? Give me links. I, w I want to see more Vitas. Because I'm, I'm probably rapidly running out of ideas. Lovely. <laughs> I'm going to steal from you. Um, but yeah, I'll see you all tomorrow. Uh, have a good day.